Now, finding fun photography projects for you and your kids to do isn't as hard as you expect. This is why we've designed three different photography projects you can try with your kids. So let's jump into it straight away. So mini photo projects, by their definition, are really easy to do. Therefore, it's great to involve your children or even your grandchildren. Now, we've designed three of them based off the back of our iPhotography Home Projects course. They are really simple to do, very little setup needed, very little expense needed, and you don't have to crack out a nice fancy DSLR camera to try along with this. Because they are so simple and straightforward, you can even just do this with your iPhone or your other smartphone. So let's have a look at them in a little bit more detail. So project one we call shadow play. Now this is something you may have done when you were a child. If you wanted to kind of cast shadows onto the wall and make little hand puppets from them, this is a really fun photography project to do. So all you're gonna need is a hard light. So that could be sunshine if you're outdoors or you could just otherwise use a torch. So all you need to do is turn off all the lights in your room and just use that one hard light. So if it's a bit of daylight that's coming through a window, just close the curtains so you can just get a very, very narrow uh, ray of light. Obviously if it's a torch, absolutely fine. Now the best thing to do with your camera is actually focus on the wall. You want to focus on the shadows, don't focus on the hands, you're not trying to actually get your hands into the photograph itself, it's just the shadows that are being cast. Try making uh, maybe a dog or a butterfly or some bird shapes to begin with. If you want to be a little bit more adventurous then you can crack out some little props, maybe raid your kids toy box or ask them to choose one of their favourite characters or figurines. You'll need to keep the toy if you're using one and the wall fairly close together to get the strongest shadow. So it can be a little bit tricky if you want to make sure obviously you're actually avoiding capturing the action figure in the photograph. So if your kids kind of uh, doing all the camera work make sure you kind of set the, the best angle and the best uh, camera settings up beforehand so all they need to do is press the shutter when you're ready. So project two we call fun food. Now this works on two different levels. One, it's a really creative and simple project to try out with your kids or grandkids. And on the second level, it's actually quite good for any fussy eaters. So if you know a little one that's a little bit particular about fruit or vegetables, this is kind of a quite clever way to maybe encourage them to try something new. So firstly, all you need to do is raid your kitchen cupboards. So you're looking for vegetables, maybe raw pasta, fruit, something similar to that. And then what you need to do from there is set yourself up a kind of a blank table or just like a whiteboard, something nice and clean and simple and we're going to basically lay all these objects on all these fruits and these vegetables on to create a bit of a scene so you can kind of maybe use things like kind of asparagus or celery as like like grass as if it was outside you can maybe use like lemons or slices of lemons and oranges as like the sun. So it's just being a little bit interpretive and kind of creating a bit of a conceptual scene with all this food. But the idea of being able to kind of play around with it may just encourage, like we were saying before, any kind of fussy eaters to be a little bit more interested in foods that they've not seen before. So project three we call Splash Time. Now this one has got a little bit more uh, detail in terms of setting up, but not that much more really. We're not changing the rules of these projects. Now Splash Time, all you wanna do is get yourself an empty vessel, a glass vessel, something similar to a fish tank. Obviously it'd be ideal if it's already empty, please don't throw your fish into the sink just for this photo project. By the way, all you need to do is empty the tank completely. Clean all the insides, inside and out, so any finger marks and things like that are completely taken away as best as possible. Now once you've emptied it, you need to kind of fill it back up. So some fresh cold water is going to be best. Now set that tank with the water onto a table and you can set yourself up a nice clean background behind it. Preferably a black background would work best. It's just going to give us the best contrast possible. Now in terms of what we're actually going to splash, that's kind of up to you, but I think fruit tends to work a bit better. So you can use either whole parts of lemons and oranges or just segments and just slice them up a little bit. So in terms of camera settings, you are gonna need maybe a couple of specifics. So I'm sure, again, depending on certain apps on a smartphone, you should be able to find the options to change shutter speeds. So if you have got that ability to change a shutter speed, using a sports mode or a shutter speed of anything a thousandth and a second or over uh, would be ideal because it's gonna give us those kind of crisp edges of the shots just as they're flowing into the water itself. But if you've enjoyed this video, fingers crossed you have, and you've enjoyed the little projects we've talked about, there is gonna be so many more projects like this in our iPhotography at Home Projects course. So if you wanna find out a little bit more about it, hit the link in the description and you can join up straight away. We've got over 50 projects very similar to what we've talked about today 
all in a video based course. It's only about seven, eight hours long in the whole course itself. So you could probably do this entire course over a weekend or over a school holiday with the kids. It's absolutely brilliant. It's a completely different way that we're approaching with videos now. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications. You can catch us on all the social medias. Drop us a comment, we'd love to hear from you. Until the next time, we'll see you soon.